NBC News. This is Today with Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotb. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning, everybody. Welcome to today. It's a Wednesday morning. We're glad to have you with us. Mm -hmm. We are going to start this morning in Florida. It's a trying day ahead for students, teachers, and parents in Parkland as classes resume for the first time since that shooting rampage. We're going to talk to the school superintendent in just a moment. But first, let's go to NBC's Kerry Sanders. He's at the campus for us this morning. Hi, Kerry. Good morning to you. Well, good morning. Teachers have now made it here to Mark. We've got the, the Ohio River going through several states that is just below major flood stage. Seventy rivers are at or above minor to major flood stages. And you can see with all this water, there's nowhere to go. And of course, with more rain coming, we are really concerned. We've got flood watches up for 12 million people right now, stretching from Texas all the way to Kentucky and parts of West Virginia. And, and this system is going to be pushing through. And so we now have a moderate at risk of flooding stretching from Texas all the way to Kentucky. And here's what we're also worried about. We're also looking at anywhere from a two double barreled storm system that's going to be pushing into the northeast. So it starts off with snow later today on into tomorrow, bringing tomorrow night dangerous driving conditions across Michigan, heavy rain, cloud bursts, big problems. It continues to make its way through the east and then the second storm takes over off the eastern seaboard. And so tomorrow morning, Friday morning, Morning, I should say heavy rain, low visibility, heavy snow developing from Buffalo, Binghamton, Western Pennsylvania. We move on into Friday night, heavy winds along the coast, snow back to the west, rain as well, causing big, big problems. So rainfall amounts through Saturday. We look at anywhere from three to five inches of rain along the coast. We're also concerned about wind. Look at the snowfall totals anywhere from three to eight inches of snow, but locally up to 12 inches of snow through western New York and on up into New England. Airports, if you are traveling Thursday and Friday, Memphis, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Chicago and Detroit, all with delays on Thursday. Friday, the I-95 corridor due to heavy wind and rain. Buffalo will be snow and wind as well. We'll continue to track it for you. We're going to get to your local forecast coming up in the next 30 seconds. Welcome back. 7.30 now on a Wednesday morning, February 28th. It's the last day of February. March I know. is coming tomorrow. March first. I don't think the car payments do on March first. Yeah. We've a lot to get to just ahead in this half hour, but we're going to start with this check of the headlines and a difficult morning for survivors of the Parkland school shooting. Emotional return. A lot more for you, including is your body shape putting you at greater risk of a heart attack? Plus, how Savannah's going up for her big match with wait for it, Roger. <laughs> Federer by dying. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then a Rossum reports warning before the busy spring break season why that great deal on a vacation you find online may not live up to your expectations. But first, the government investigation that just found popular products sold through Amazon are actually counterfeit right after this. Let's get right to your news at 8 o'clock. Students and teachers trying to move forward this morning at a school where 17 of their friends and colleagues lost their lives. We're back at 812 with an important health alert. Of course, people come in all different shapes and sizes. We know that. And a new study shows your body shape could be a bigger factor in your overall health than we realize between stomach fat and heart disease and what does your shape say about your health? Dr. Rashini Raj is a Today contributor and board certified gastroenterologist. Dr. Raj, good morning. Good morning. Why, does, why is this so significant? What does our belly fat tell us about our health? Okay, well, you have to realize there are two different types of fat. There's the subcutaneous fat that's right under your skin and the deeper fat, and that's the dangerous fat. We call it visceral fat. It covers your organs, and it does increase your risk of heart disease and insulin resistance, diabetes. That's the fat that really sits in the abdomen. So this study was a very large study, 500,000 people involved, and they really found that the people who had abdominal obesity, so they really store fat in the abdomen area, were at higher risk compared to the more pear shape. Okay, and that's the apple shape. So if you feel right. like you're kind of thick around the middle, you're, you may be apple shape. What are you supposed to do? Big moment. <laughs> it's no secret that Savannah's a huge Roger Federer fan, and on Monday, this coming Monday, one of her dreams will come true, and San Jose, California, 
when this girl actually faces Roger Federer on the court. How? Oh. <laughs> serious. Savannah's teaming up with the number one ranked American Jack Sock to take on the Raj and Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates at that match for Africa. A great charity event for the Roger Federer Foundation. Day. Long, what you got coming up? We've got a fun show with Kathy Lee. It's yeah. going to be it's no out idea. of this world. She has no oh, idea sure. what's coming up. All right. <laughs> yeah. right. right. We've got a fun show. It's going to be it's great. Be it's about an hour long, so, and it's in color. So much it's good fantastic. stuff. Megan Kelly's wow. up next. But first, your local news and weather.